It's probably one of his top 25 pictures that he ever did, and he's probably one of the top 10 social documentary photographers who ever existed. Contemporary comes out of vintage. Had this been a print that Sudek made from that negative, this would be probably selling around $7,500 to $10,000. And the price now? At $275 because Peter Taub's printed. I don't understand why that's rich. Because I didn't pay very much for it. You know, I, I look online all the time. I'm always shopping for this show. And I'm always looking to see what I see that could be of exceptional value. Harry is a photographer whose work we really, really like. We like it because it's, it's very fresh. You know, everybody can photograph these things. The Pulaski Skyway, a place on Crane Street, the Williamsburg Bridge. Everybody can do it. But Harry brings that vision to the picture. The only, the only issue between me and Harry we had to discuss was, Harry, could you make something for Christmas that's low, lower cost than you usually do? Size, hmm? because or? of size, and also discounted beyond size. It's usually printed on 17 by 22. Or this is our fourth exhibition of work by the Dutch photographer Gerard Petrus Fioret. He died two years ago um, at the age of about 83. He lived in The Hague in Holland his whole life. He was paranoid that other artists would steal his work, that they would copy prints of his prints and then say they were his. These were all taken in the 1960s and early 70s. And then in the mid-70s, mid to late 70s, he started to make these collages. We see Fioret arrive in a taxi, climbing out of the back seat, a jumble of portfolios and plastic bags filled with photographs under both arms. It is early summer 1990. Marianne, their friend, has set up our meeting in a cafe in The Hague. We've come to buy photographs. If you were to remember two names in Brazilian contemporary photography, I'm going to tell you what they are. The, the first name is Mario Cravonetto. Mario Cravonetto was born in the state of Bahia. It's the state in Brazil that has the strongest African influence. My name is Dan Cooney, and this is Daniel Cooney Fine Art Gallery. We have a group of, I think it's 31 photographs, each by a different artist. The reserves are all $200. But you go online on iGaffle.com and you bid. These are the actual photographs that are, um, that are online. Uh, this is uh, Grant Earn Art. It's an area in, like near LaGuardia, where the plains land. I guess there's like a park right near. Some of them sell, you know, they get 20, 25 bids and they sell really well. You know, the idea of it is to really support the emerging artists. So these start at 200, and you said sometimes they sell for 200, sometimes a lot more. Is yep. there a, been a typical median price that they've been selling for, or what is it that you hope to get for them? Well, I think the highest we've ever sold something from the emerging artist auctions were the $2,000 mark. Median range is like five or $600. Mm -hmm. And does that tend to set a benchmark for that artist in, when it's sold in this manner? I mean, it certainly helps them. Really, what what's I found what is significant about the emerging artist auctions, I've been doing them for about two years now, is um, the attention that the artists get. Because the people that are buying from the auctions are really top-notch collectors. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when I, sometimes an artist will be disappointed that a piece sold for $400 or something they wanted it to sell more, but I'll say, well, you know, it went into this collection, which has already been promised to this museum, and, Blah, 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 and, and then they're suddenly really happy about it. Happy. <laughs> this artist, uh, Christopher Churchill, from a series called American Faith, an Israeli is publishing a book of his work in the fall. Uh, but yet, you know, right now people don't really know him. But I do think, probably in a few years, people will know his work. Some sort of object placed on the paper and the shadows that are cast and the silhouettes that are created create the imagery, and um, Maureen is doing something uh, pretty unique because she is, uh, she starts with stacks of drawings on acrylic sheets, and the stacks can be 30, 50, 100 deep. The line that's the most crisp, that's the drawing that's closest to the photo paper, whereas this line back here, mm -hmm. that would be the top of the stack, and it's maybe a couple of inches away. Mm -hmm.